I want to wrap this section up with a few habits that you must imbibe to be a good RX citizen. The overload of the subscribe method that accepts lambdas for on next, on error and on completion has an overload that allows you to not pass in any of the lambdas. In which case, RX applies default stubs or default lambda expressions for on next, on completed and on error notifications. If you do not provide an on error notification that can take your program down unexpectedly by an unhandled error, as we'll see in this case. The default stub for on error that Rx provides simply captures all the exception information at the, at the call site and throws that exception to the call site. As we'll see in this method, I create an observable using the observable using the observable dot create method. In this observable, after raising one value, I raise an error, I raise an exception using the on error notification. I propagate that exception to the observer. However, the observer when it subscribes, it provides only a value and completion handler. It doesn't provide any error handler. As a result, this exception should throw up in the call site, which is this method, this method default stub for on error. And if we didn't have a handler here, luckily we have a handler to demonstrate that the exception bubbles up uh, violently to the call site, uh, to the topmost handler of the call site. If we didn't have this um, catch block, it would have gone all the way to the topmost handler near the event loop and might have taken down the application for sure. Um, so uh, although this is like a mitigation strategy, it's not the best thing. Prevention is better than cure. Always you should pass in a error handler. That's the first good habit. Always, always, always pass in an error handler to the subscribe method. Uh, let's run this code to see what happens. Um, this should bomb off and then enter the catch exception, which should print out all of this. And you see we get the value 1, followed by an exception. I'll just continue it because I have a catch handler. We see that the catch block caught the exception in the call site. We have the whole stack trace, but still it's not a good idea to have this because it can take down your application if you didn't have a topmost handler somewhere. Uh, and it, it is just irregular to do this. So always provide an on error implementation. Now it's not as harmful if you don't provide an on. However, if you do provide an on error, implementation as in this case we've provided an exception handler the same code uh, when it throws an exception it doesn't come in the catch block instead we get the exception information gracefully in the exception handler that we had which is the on error handler we had let's run this bit of code to see that see how gracefully we get the error information we get the first value and then we get an error ex um, thing and then we have a chance to dispose of the subscription in the first case we didn't have a chance in the first case we didn't even have a chance to do that it never the the control would never have reached after this line now it isn't as harmful if you forget to, to provide a completion handler uh, because the default completion handler does nothing but it's always good to provide a completion handler because you may have never ending sequences or hot sequences, hot observables, which depend on some external event and you don't know when they'll complete. And if your program relies on the completion of a sequence, uh, whether or not it does, it's always good to have a completion handler. The default implementation does nothing. As you will see, if we run this piece of code, we'll get values. Uh, if you have an error, which we don't, we would have gotten an on error notification here but we will get no information about the completion of the sequence. Let's run this bit of code. And you see, we'll just get one and we'll have gracefully disposed the subscription, which is the good thing. Um, 
but we will get no intimation about the completion of the observable. Similarly, if you do not provide an on next implementation, the default for on next, the default stub that Rx provides for on next also does nothing. So in this case, we'll never get to know any of the values. Uh, here we provide none of the handlers. Um, now you cannot provide all other handlers or even any one of the handlers other than on next you have to provide a non next or it's an all or nothing situation you either provide no handlers and the subscribe method is happy there's an overload that accepts nothing in which case you will not get any notifications for errors or completion or on next but you cannot have provided a completion handler or an error handler but not have provided an on next handler or any of the combination of the other two uh, or any of the individual ones out of the other two, but not have provided an on next handler. It's just not going to work as uh, we demonstrate in the next example. I, I I have to pass an on next. There is this is not an except. This is not an optional argument. Uh, there is no overload that has these as compulsory arguments and this one as an optional argument. Uh, and if I pass in a null, it'll blow up with a null reference exception because it'll expect. Uh, that I have a valid handler passed to it. So let me run this one first, which says you must provide an on next if you want to provide any other handler. Um, let's run that first. And we blow up with an on exception null reference, which we catch. It says on next parameter name uh, is null, while you cannot be null. And then if we do not provide any of the handlers, the default stubs will run, which is So here I provide nothing, which means the default implementation of on next will do nothing. It will ignore this. The default implementation of on completed will ignore this. And the default implementation of on error, if there happens to be an exception thrown, will bubble it up, throw it at the call site, which is this method. Since we don't have an exception, if we had one, it would have come here. We don't have it. So this, running this bit of code will do nothing. We will get no notifications for next values, no notifications for completion. Let's run this. But since our observable will have completed anyway, even though we don't have any notifications, it will have disposed itself gracefully. You see, it disposed itself after after throwing values at us, but we were we didn't provide any value handlers and the default ones that Rx generates if we don't provide any value handler is the one that ignores it. Now, finally, it's a good habit always to call dispose on the subscription. In some of the examples, we didn't do that because there were examples, but always you must call dispose. Now, Rx, as we discussed in the class as well, automatically calls disposed in two situations. If the sequence terminates with an error, then Rx knows that this has happened and it automatically cancels or calls dispose on any active subscriptions of any observers on that observable. Similarly, if the exception terminates with, an, with a completion, Rx calls dispose automatically. However, if the observable has still not completed, it's ongoing and your program quits or something happens for, for your program to stop, um, to make your program stop, then Rx will not have called dispose. It will not have had a chance to call dispose. Uh, your dispose, basically, you'll have leaked resources. Um, and that could have a negative toll if you have expensive disposables uh, that are waiting to, be, to get uh, finalized in the, by the garbage collector, uh, which obviously you shouldn't defer to the garbage collector. Um, so let's just have this example. In this example, I create an observable and I return a disposable in which I just, this is the dispose method in which I just print out who the caller of the dispose method is. So you just get a message saying who called dispose. And I, f I subscribe to this, but I don't call dispose. I'll forget in the client code to call dispose. And we'll see that because the sequence completed gracefully, Rx will have automatically called dispose. Let's take this and run this code. You see, we get the first value, then we get a completion message, and then this dispose has been called not by our client code, but by 
system reactive disposables anonymous disposable dot dispose which is a method inside of the bowels of rx so rx gracefully calls r dispose uh, but it's a good idea nevertheless to always call dispose because you never know if this if the observable is an infinite sequence um, that was for completed sequence but for ongoing sequence rx has no way to call dispose so let's create a sequence in this case I have an ongoing sequence uh, I return a value 1 and then I have a disposable uh, but I don't have any on complete or on error notifications here so even after it returns a value 1 this this observable doesn't signal termination so Rx will not have a chance to dispose that because it wouldn't know it it would be uh, it would be reachable there would have a it would have a GC root and would be reachable so it wouldn't know whether to dispose it or not um, and uh, I provide all the three handlers but I forget to call dispose let's run this and we'll see that the dispose method will never get called we will just get one value and that's it the program will indefinitely wait for the sequence to carry on and nobody ever would call dispose And if we had an error, again, Rx would automatically call dispose. In this case, I have a observable, which I create. I have one value notification, and then I raise an exception. And in the disposable dispose method, again, we print out who called dispose. We subscribe to the observable. Would we forget to call dispose on the subscription? And let's see if Rx calls that. Let's, sorry, let's copy the name of this method. Dispose called automatically on error. And we see we get the first value. Then we get an on error notification gracefully. And then Rx disposes are disposable. Even though we've forgotten to, even though we'd forgotten to do that. So in, an, in summary, always call dispose on your subscriptions and always provide an on error if nothing else on error handler it's always good to provide on completed because there may be never ending sequences and you cannot get away by not providing an on next and providing the other two and you could provide neither of them but then what's the point of subscribing then